The first time I met Kobe Bryant, he said something to me that changed my life forever. Why do you think I'm the best player in the world? Because I never get bored with the basics. I never get bored with the basics. Kobe Bryant, the best player on the planet, and someone that has truly mastered his craft, said that his secret was that he never got bored with the basics. One example I can think of, and, and I imagine this is very true in real estate because I've seen this play out in other businesses and other industries, but folks now, especially with, with social media and people understand they need to be socially savvy. And, and I agree completely. Social media can be an unbelievable avenue uh, for meeting prospective clients and, and for building your business. But they spend so much time trying to create a viral video or a viral post. And they could have allocated that time to simply making calls, like smiling and dialing, like simply reaching out direct one-on-one -on -one to potential prospects. So instead of spending all of this time trying to hit a home run on a viral video, which we both know there is no magic script or blueprint to do that, they could have allocated that time or invested that time into something more proven. And you know, ultimately what we're doing uh, when we do that, we're, we're just kind of kicking the can down the road and we're procrastinating. We're thinking, hey, if I spend a couple of weeks creating this video, um, it could have this massive influx of potential business. Whereas you could have gotten just as much business by reaching out to 10 prospects every single day, especially if you've narrowed down, uh, you know, who your clientele is, you know, like look at the, the range of the homes that you sell and who is your target client um, that buys those types of homes. And then how can you add value to that specific demographic and how can you forge strong relationships and add value and create value for that group? If you spend more time doing that, you'll sell way more homes than if you're trying to come up with this one hit wonder of a video. And as obvious as that may be to you all right now, that was a life changing moment for me. See, it was in that moment that I finally realized that just because something is basic, it doesn't mean that it's easy. Those are not synonyms and yet people mistakenly use those words as if they're interchangeable. Just because it's basic, it doesn't mean it's easy. If it was easy, everyone else would be doing it. And you all know that we live in a world that tells us it's okay to skip steps. Tells us we should always be looking for a shortcut or a hack. Tells us we should always be chasing what's new and what's shiny and what's flashy. But I'm here to tell you when you do those things, you're making a huge mistake. It's similar to a basketball player that's, that's younger and new to the game and they want to go out and mimic a move that they saw LeBron do last night. James drives. James is fouled. And one. It's like you, you can't skip all of those steps. You know, if you, if you can picture a pyramid, what you just described so insightfully is people are so focused on reaching the apex of that pyramid and doing what's at the tip and they're completely ignoring the base of the pyramid. But the base and the foundation is, is where everything else is built upon. So you don't build a pyramid starting at the top and work your way down. You build a pyramid by creating an incredibly strong base and working towards mastery of those fundamentals. And then over time, as you continue to refine those fundamentals, you still graduate and level up to more advanced techniques but you can't skip steps to get there. And, and as you just said, the highest performers have a strong trust, respect, and appreciation for building that foundation. And the cool part is this is true in every area of our life. I mean, it's true in relationships, it's true in health, it's true in wealth. You know, I can't tell you how many times when I was in the basketball training space, I'd start working with a new player and one of their first questions was, what supplement should I be taking? And I said, supplements, you don't even eat a healthy diet, you don't get very much sleep, and you don't train very hard. You can't skip those three steps, and then in this case, literally, try and take a magic pill or powder and expect to get good results. Supplement, by definition, means in addition to, which means you have to eat a really clean diet. You need to train very hard and consistently. You need to get great sleep. You need to do all of that stuff first, and as you've mastered those building blocks, then maybe appropriate supplementation can get you to that next level. I'm sure that, that you and I could collaborate and come, with, come up with a list of basics and fundamentals in the real estate space that everyone should be working towards mastery of first. 
And then once you've started to work towards that, then over time you can slowly start to layer up maybe some, some more advanced techniques or opportunities. But you know, in order to get to the top of a ladder, you have to touch every single step. You can't skip rungs, but one misstep can send you all the way back down to the bottom. So we also have to make sure that we're, we're attacking these things with precision and with effort and with, you know, discernment. And that's because the basics work. They always have, and they always will. And the very first step to improving your performance in any area of life, it doesn't matter if it's personal or professional, it doesn't matter if it's individual or organizational. It doesn't matter if you're a child or you're an adult. The very first step is to admit that the basics work. But it's also having the humility to acknowledge that implementing the basics every single day is never ever easy.